Ronald, a one-all draw at Aston Villa in the end. Was that a deserved point for your side? After after the one-nil down, yes. Uh, after the misunderstanding uh, in defence, that's, that's normal, not usually for our team. But but okay, we are human people. We can do mistakes, and uh, I think we had a good reaction. We showed good character in the second half. Uh, we had the patience. Uh, and, and, and we kept organization in the team and, and then you have to be a little bit more lucky in, in, in crosses in, in, in the last pass and that was not always good enough uh, but but the team uh, showed the spirit till the last minute and, and, and um, we deserved at least one point and, and it's not the best result uh, what we expect but uh, after the one nil down I think uh, okay we deserve one point. They've shown that spirit a couple of times away from home this season, haven't they, your team? I mean, away at Swansea, uh, sorry, away at West Ham, for example, away at Arsenal. They, they do have that never-say-die spirit, don't they? Yeah, they, they, they always they have uh, the good spirit. And uh, we showed before that we that 1-0 down is not, not the final result. And, and, and we did it again. It was more difficult because they, they, they had one option after the 1-0 is defending with 11 players and uh, to make the to make the pitch very we didn't have the space uh, and then it's more difficult to create opportunities but but the belief was in the team till the last minute when you get into that last quarter of an hour or so of a game do you start to to worry that it's going to be one of those days and the goal might not come yeah sometimes you have that feeling and and but still uh, in the second half well, we had uh, that kind of position and uh, maybe about the free kick of a corner kick, uh, we know that that's one of as well the one of the qualities. And uh, we have players who can score, and 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 and, and Klein showed that today. And it was an uh, important good goal, but it was a team performance. And we, we what I said before, we kept uh, the organisation in the team, and that was the most important. Nathaniel, got, Nathaniel Klein, that's his, his third goal, I think, in about 15 games this season, which is some record for a fullback. He must be happy that he's always popping up the goals when they're needed. Yeah, of course. Uh, and and sometimes you need defenders to to score that goal when the attackers is uh, not in the, maybe not in the best form or, or they they they, they uh, defending well tonight Aston Villa our our attackers and then it's always uh, a quality that you have defenders who can score like today uh, what Kleine did you mentioned the the first goal obviously the Aston Villa goal uncharacteristic really from your team do you have some sympathy for Fraser at all yeah, but but I have to, I have to see uh, the first goal back. Uh, I think uh, he make a reaction to go out, and then he stopped. Uh, yeah, and then you know, then then you are too late. And uh, okay, but uh, he's a great goalkeeper, and uh, you have to uh, you have to recover of that fault and. Uh, and what he showed before, there's no problem. Getting a, a late result like this, even, even if it is a draw, is it a, a boost for your team going into three difficult games coming up to have that, that late sort of uh, joy of getting the equaliser? Yes, I think so, because it was, it was a difficult game after the 1-0 and we had to play, uh, they had to wait and, and defending and, and it's always more difficult in a physical way if you have to attack and you have to press and uh, then at least you have one point that for the feeling always more positive. Those three matches then, starting with Manchester City on Sunday, then obviously Arsenal, Manchester United. Is this something for everyone to look forward to, the chance to, to play against teams like this and show just how good we really are? Yes, of course, uh, because we play at home against City and uh, we are the second in the table and City is the third in the table. It's a great team, great players and uh, we have to show our qualities and uh, our way of playing and, and then every result is possible. And just finally, Stephen Davis missed out tonight. Was he close or is he going to have a chance for Sunday? Yes, uh, normally I think he will be ready for, for this Sunday, but uh, we have to wait. We have to wait his reaction for the, for the next few days in the training sessions, but uh, we hope that he will be fit.